In this video, I want to show you how to download and install and start using the free version of Microsoft SQL Server. So first of all, you're going to go to uh, in the internet. Uh, let's say you go to a browser. Right now I'm using uh, Google Chrome. And we're going to type in uh, SQL Server download in the search. So when I go to that search, the one that we're looking for is going to be with the Microsoft um, the Microsoft domain. Okay. So I'm going to go to this one right over here. It's a SQL Server download. And you can see it has a Microsoft uh, domain. These days, I'm telling everybody to go back to the trusted sources. The internet has become kind of crazy, as we all know. And Microsoft would certainly be considered a trusted source. So now, uh, now this one over here, the free trial, will expire after 180 days. So that's a good way to evaluate it to see if you want to use that one. But the one I want to show you today is the Express Edition because that one is for one computer and it doesn't expire and it gives you everything that you need. Uh, now remember this one is the full version. However, it does expire after 180 days then you have to purchase it at that point. So we're going to go with the Express Edition over here. I'll click on download now. Now the download is going to, um, it's going to do the first download and that one's a really quick one. Now I'm going to go ahead and double click on uh, the icon after it's been downloaded over here. And uh, in this screen, I'll say yes to this message. Now, uh, in this case, uh, you can do the basic installation, the custom, or you can download the media for a later, in, later installation. I'm going to do the custom. And then you'll pick a folder where you wanted to download it to. And I'll pick on install. Now, uh, you can see that the download is now ready to go. I didn't want to show you the whole download process, uh, but it downloads to your computer and then you get this new window. Now, after you uh, download it, you have to install the software on your computer. Now, what the video is going to work on a PC and it's going to work on a, a tablet that has a Windows uh, operating system. I'm not really that familiar with the Mac version. So what I'm showing you is for a PC, uh, a desktop, a tablet with a Windows operating system, especially I'm using Windows 10 here. Now, I'm going to, if this is the first time I'm using SQL Server on this computer, so I'll pick on new SQL standard, standalone installation. Okay, so this is a, a license agreement. Of course, we're going to accept that. You won't be able to continue until you uh, accept that, of course, right? I'll pick on next. And then it's checking the computer to make sure it's compatible. Okay, so you can see that uh, in my case, the computer passed and everything is fine. So I'll pick on next. Now, in this case, you want to make sure you check certain boxes on this window. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, make sure you have the database engine services. Uh, and whatever it gives you there is fine. Now, the reporting services is great. Uh, then you can do um, you can do the SQL Server reports. So I like to have that service there as well. And then you're going to do all of these also. So basically, on this screen, we can take the defaults. If you want to do select all. We can do that, all right? And um, it's going to give you a brief description of each one. You can read that if you wanted to. All right, this is all fine. It's going to ask you which folders that you want to put that in. And I'll pick on Next. Now, this installation probably takes uh, a few minutes. So in my case, uh, it's not going to be able to do this one, uh, this one part of it. So that's okay. Uh, I'm, I'm not going to need that one. So I'll just go back and I'll pick on back here. And actually, I'm going to uncheck this one. I don't need that one for right now. I'll pick on next.
And now we're on this case. Uh, in, now, if you want to give a, a, an instance is a, um, a version of the SQL Server that will run on your computer. Usually you just have one, but you could have multiple ones. You can give that a different name if you wanted to. Uh, in this case, I'll just pick on Next. Now, in this window, uh, you, you want to make sure that you have the proper choices here. So everything is fine. Now, uh, these are services that will run every time that you start up your computer. So you really want them to be automatic. You want all of these to be automatically started. And that will be fine. Now, the SQL Server browser, this, is a, this could be important. I'm gonna actually going to start that one also as automatic because that means that... Um, when you set up your ODBC driver, for example, then the SQL Server name will come up. So uh, I'm going to make sure that these are all automatically started. All right, those are fine. I'll pick on Next. Now, in this screen, you can specify a password. So in this case, if, if you want to put up your own password, then you would say Mixed Mode and then you would put in your password that you want to use. Okay, so I'm actually going to do that. So uh, I'm going to type in my password here. And then of course you want to verify that and these are case sensitive. All right, so if you want to put a password in, now this is for the SA, the system administrator user, uh, as you can see, and that's the password that you set up for that. So I would highly recommend that you do that. I'm going to go ahead and pick on Next. And we're going to go ahead and install and configure. So we'll pick on Next. All right, so in this case, I'll accept the license here. And we'll pick on Next. And now it's starting to install. This is the part where it'll take a um, take a couple minutes. So as you can see, it's uh, installing some files. It's changing the system registry. Looks like it's going through the normal process. All right, so you can see it looks like it got completed. And in this case, it says I'm going to have to restart your computer. So I'm going to go ahead and click on OK. And now if we look at the, the uh, items here, it looks like most of it successfully completed. Good. Now I'm going to try to see if I can show you that um, it's in there without me restarting the computer. So in this case, I'll pick on the word close and we'll close it of the uh, initial installation window. Now I'm going to go ahead and minimize some of these windows and we'll go back to my Windows desktop. So in this case, I'll pick on, uh, I, I'm using Windows 10 here, of course. I'll pick on um, the start button. And uh, now you can see that the SQL Server is going to be in there. And then if I scroll down further, we should see some more. And then here you see I have Microsoft SQL, to, uh, SQL Server 2016. That's the one I just put in. And then we can see how the, uh, the tools are there that we need. So that was a successful installation of Microsoft SQL Server, the free version. All right, so here we are back at the SQL Server Installation Center. And there's some really good information here that you might want to read. And now I'm going to come over here and I'll pick up the word installation. And at this point, we're going to install the SQL Server Management Tools. All right, so uh, I'm going to go ahead and click on this. We've done the full installation. Now we want to make sure we get the SQL Server Management Tools as well. 
So um, the one I want to download is this one right over here, the download SQL Server Management Studio 7.2. If we need to, we can do the upgrade, but let's do the first one first. And you can see how it's downloading it down here. All right, so I restart the uh, recording and you can see that it's almost done downloading now. Good. So now it's done downloading. So of course I'll click on that icon to start the installation process of the SQL Server Management Studio. Uh, in this window, of course, I'll pick on install. Of course, it's going to do its thing. It's going to unzip that package. Now remember, I'm getting these from the Microsoft website. I really recommend that you do that. There, you'll find that it's available in other places on the internet, but I highly recommend that you go back to the trusted sources, especially these days with all the viruses and all the craziness that's going on on the internet. You can see it's uh, installing things. At this point, we're about halfway done. Now this should be all I have to do. I'm gonna see if I need to do the upgrade, but let's see if this one will work by itself. Obviously on that other window there was the upgrade right below the one that I chose. And I'm sure that has service pack releases and, and things like that, but let's see if we can at least get this one to install. And then at the end of this video, I'll show you that it's been successfully installed. Seems to be progressing nicely. And now we're getting close to the end. Now we're really getting close to the end. And excellent. So once again, it says to restart the computer. I'm gonna go ahead and pick on close here. Now let's see if I really have to restart the computer in this case. So uh, I'm gonna pick on the start button of course, and we're gonna scroll down. And now we see, and now we see under Microsoft, we'll have, um, I'm gonna to go to Microsoft 2016 again. And there's the reporting services, which is important as far as making reports from your data. Uh, I'm going to expand this one. And here's the SQL Server Management Studio. So let's go ahead and click on that. And let's see if we have a successful installation. At this point, it should give me the login screen. Now, the login that it's going to use is the login that we set up on the initial installation of the um, SQL Server. All right, so in this case, if, if the server name is going to be the right one, that's fine. Now I'm going to go with a SQL Server uh, authentication. Now, when you first install it, your your the login will be SA. Now, of course, you can always set up different logins, but SA means System Administrator. And now you're going to type in the password that you typed in in, in the initial installation, and in this case, sensitive. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and pick on the word Connect here. And now it looks like we have a successful installation of the SQL Server. I'm gonna come over here and expand the databases. And this looks like it was a great installation. So now I'm gonna make a lot more videos about the SQL Server and uh, setting up tables and queries and things like that once you have this all set up. So I hope you enjoyed the process of the free download and install of the SQL Server Express 2016.